Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? We do anything related to knitting on this channel, whether that be yarn hauls, fiber reviews, knitting, patterns, anything of that sort. And today is no exception. Today we are doing another yarn corner for this month um, that just passed, which was September. I hadn't done them for a really long time, so last month's was really jam-packed. So today is just going to be a chill um, chill session of just me chatting about what we've been knitting recently, um, things that we finished, things that we're working on, and things I've got, uh, related to knitting. So, let's get on just right off the bat into the video. Today I am wearing my typical sweater. I don't know. I guess this is a new pattern that I just finished. It is so lovely. I love, like, how freaking big I made uh, the neck increases. It just has like the most beautiful. Oh, can you see? Drop shoulder moment. It's like the perfect. Oh, I wish you could see. You can't really see the bottom, but <laughs> the bottom is pretty nice as well. Um, and I'm just really happy with how it came out. I'm hoping I can take cute photos of it and then post it on the Instagram and then also just be able to get it ready for grading and then have it tested it and have it up for you guys. And like you guys know, I've been talking about uh, expanding the typical collection and this is just one of the starting pieces for them. I knitted it in Double Sunday in electric blue and it is my favorite. You guys know I've been talking about this for so long. I have wanted a really nice blue just cobalty sweater. This is just like one of the first of many pieces that I'm gonna have that are Brittany Bathgate inspired. So um, yeah, no, I'm so in love with it. This is like my first really big double Sunday piece. It feels so luxurious. I get it, I love it. It's really soft on my hands. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that it pills really quickly, so I'm, interested to see. I'll have to let you guys know uh, the wear test on this and I know I'm going to be wearing this like so much in the future as well. So if it pills, I'll be sad, but you know, I like to like, uh, you know, with like the little machine that like gets rid of all the pilling. I love doing that. So no harm, no harm in that at all. Cause I have like this stunning, stunning sweater and this stunning, stunning color. Cobalt is still um, my love. So that's just her. Uh, I guess, again, we just have a basic folded neckline. Wanted it to be super thick. I wanted the long ribbing because you know we love the long ribbing. I did this in five millimeter because I wanted to see if we could kind of get away with just doing just the double Sunday. But I feel like you could have definitely gone with like a double Sunday and then like, like a DK weight and then a mohair and it would have worked perfectly fine because there are... Like you can see kind of my shirt peeking in underneath, but that's because I made kind of a mistake because initially I had only done, I think three like increases, but I wanted like more stitches in between uh, the collar. And so I had to do yarn surgery um, for it. So I had to do a lot of like, oh, it was really annoying having to like go through every stitch to make sure that it was even. Uh, and then just like sometimes when it stretches a little, you can see just a couple holes. I guess not holes, but just like kind of see the clothing underneath it. But I really can't even notice it at all. It's not a huge difference, but I wanted to see if I could just get away with using the double Sunday and nothing else. I only used 10 skeins, so that was lovely. And I had like a bunch left over, so yeah. We like it a lot and I love her and I want to wear her all the time because it's getting warmer guys. She started raining the other day and so I'm ready to wear sweaters again because I haven't been able to for a really long time. Uh, so yeah, we got this one done. It was such a fast knit too. Again, we love the big needles. We love the five millimeters. Um, and so I guess backing on to that, another finished piece. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna die. Um, Cause I've been teasing this guy forever and I will take off the sweater to show it. But this is, it's not, I haven't woven, I haven't woven in any of the ends and we haven't like put in any buttons, but that's totally fine because she's gorgeous. Um, this is, uh, I guess a 
typical cardigan? I don't know how to explain it. Um, I think this is probably going to be the first of the chorizo collection. If you guys um, follow the streams and everything like that, I'm going to be having a chorizo collection that is specifically Noro. Uh, and that's just what I'm going to be calling them because uh, she's stunning. Uh, but I blocked it. It took like three days to fully block the collar. It was like actually insane. Um, it is such a hefty piece, but I really did want to make sure that the blocking was going to be all beautiful and stunning before I like showed you guys because there's no way I was going to show this uh, unblocked. Um, but oh, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I like want to cry. So I don't know if you can see it all. Am I showing this off well at all? <laughs> but it is it is everything in my entire life. I look so cute in this. So the plan is just you have buttons and you button up like up here. And it'll kind of give you that like cozy little look with a really thick collar. Just enough bagginess in the arms. I just have to find the perfect button. And then I still have to, I'm going to sew up this section. And then just put a button there and then put buttons there and then wind up all these <laughs> scraps. Um, someone did suggest to add little pockets right here. So I was thinking of adding pockets because I do have some leftover viola um, with me. But yeah, this guy was kind of on the back burner for a little bit because I had run out of mohair and that was devastating. Drops was having, or Wool Warehouse was having a, a kid silk mohair. So I just decided to pick up a couple lavender-ish mohair and finish it off and you can't even tell <laughs> can you even tell where the difference in mohair is i don't think so um so i oh my god it's so stunning i could look at myself in the viewfinder forever um i'll do it yeah let me let me just give you guys a little bit a close-up just at how beautiful this yarn is I've gotten so many compliments from my family. Um, like my mom, she's like, you need to buy more of this yarn. This yarn, you need to buy a lot of this because this, what you're doing here, it's good. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I don't think I've ever heard you say anything like that to me in my entire life. So I definitely need to get more. I'm thinking uh, when this guy... I guess when we start pattern testing, I want to do maybe pre-orders on the viola because I buy like a couple and then they sell out and then I'm like, oh my God, I got to buy more. Um, so it would be nice to just kind of know flat out how much to get. Uh, and then I want to buy more viola just to have, I guess, also in the collection. But I would say that this one, this purple is the most beautiful uh, out of all the viola colors. I think it's stand out alone beautiful i don't know why i don't see anyone else talking about it except me but just like the color variations like the red and the purple it goes brown dark purple turquoise green you got like a really funky pukey green <laughs> which i love like yeah right here and then you got like some like orangey i don't know but it just like works perfectly for this guy i think this is like honestly so good Oh my god, I'm gonna have to take a video or something and show you how this like looks like full. Like, cause I, I can't, this isn't like enough. I'm not showing you enough of how beautiful this guy is. Um, but it is honestly my everything again. You guys know I love a good drop shoulder. I think honestly all my patterns are gonna have something basic like that and I'm gonna be totally happy. So I'll be calling this the chorizo cardigan. Um, if you guys want to know the back lore, I will let you guys know, but this is the only time I'll let you know. Um, it's because uh, Petite Knits Terrazzo sweater in uh, like the Noro Silk Garden Sock Solo in Omitama is a sweater that I've loved to death. And everyone always tells me that I say Terrazzo wrong. And I, I would say Terrazzo, um, which is the sausage. <laughs> uh, so that is just what I'm going to call my Noro pieces or pieces that have Noro in them. I'll just call them the Teresa whatever and we'll have a little Teresa collection and I I'm freaking in love. I need more of these. I need more Noro. I'm still I will forever be on the hunt for the perfect Noro to have to make the most perfect pieces for and 
Um, yeah, I hope you are happy to join along in that journey. Um, I'm thinking black, thinking black buttons or thinking I might knit up like little squares to cover buttons and then just have like the fabric button that's the same kind of color. Um, but I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure. I just think, I just think this huge, <laughs> this huge uh, collar is my everything and all my cardigans are gonna have this in the future and sweaters as well. Um, it's again, double folded. Uh, I honestly, when I was knitting this up, I thought it was gonna be too big. I was like, this is not gonna look good. I'm gonna have to unravel this. But when I tried it on, it was perfect and I love it. And I like how it kind of folds down like this. It's very esque jacket. So maybe we'll call this the Teresa jacket and then make a normal cardigan later. I don't know, I don't know. Tiffany, Tiffany, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I love this guy a lot. This with the white shirt, black pants, like what I'm wearing. I, I'm sorry, I think I've spoken about this for a little bit too long already, but I cannot get over it. It is my baby. <laughs> you know when like you get a pattern right? I don't know, like if like if you've ever written a pattern before, when you get a pattern right, it just like hits and this guy hits, bro. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh my gosh, if no one compliments me, <laughs> if no one, if I go out in public and no one compliments me on this cardigan, I'll be a little bit devastated. So this guy, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready for her to get out. Tiffany, what are you waiting for? <sighs> it needs to happen, it needs to happen, it needs to happen. Okay, I was gonna try this one on, but not on camera, but maybe we should. So I don't think I have any really other finished, finished pieces. It's all just really like things that are whips, because um, we have a lot of them, but. This is the beginnings. Oh, I hope this, I'm gonna have to do the neckline soon. But this is the beginning of my Henley. I guess the typical Henley, if I guess that's the name. Um, I, this is gonna be like the most oversized thing in the entire world. I want it to be humongous. And as you can see, it almost looks like a V-neck. But the plan is, is I want to I don't know if, I don't know if these are called Henleys. I think they're called Henleys in like Canada, but it's just like not fully, not like fully a cardigan, but it has like buttons kind of very similar to the mod tee, but with a crew neck, um, kind of construction instead of a collar. Uh, and so I really, I really like the look of that in like a baggy kind of fit. Uh, and so I really wanted to use up this yarn. Um, it is two strands drops flora in the dark, no, in the mid gray. And then I'm holding one strand of, I think it's, it's a wool in the gang yarn that I got such a long time ago. It's like, I think it's the fuzzy yarn. I don't know the mohair. I don't know. I'm of absolutely no help, but I've had this for so long and I have been meaning to use up the yarn and I think this would be the perfect piece. Uh, let me just quickly try it on. Oh, I forgot. I just also wanted to add, uh, this guy I used four, um, I used four skeins of the viola. I initially wanted to really try to get it only to three, but honestly it wasn't enough. Like I wanted, I wanted it to be like a little bit looser and like now I just have enough yarn, I guess, to do the pockets and not feel too bad about it. Um, and I think I used, I think I used five or six millimeter. I don't remember, uh, but I have it written down anyway. I'm just trying to, like, I don't like how I haven't seen any stitch holders that are big enough to hold on to like a big needle like this. So the plan is, is to get more. I did just come out or I'm, I did just make a ton. Oh my God, I'm so excited about it. Sorry, I'm everywhere at this moment. Oh my goodness. But I just made some of these. Um, your girl handmade these. Oh my goodness. So this is, these are just like stitch holders, I guess, which is just what I'm gonna call them for the shop. It just comes, these are just for the Patreons. It was just kind of like a test to see um, how they turned out and I really like them. Um, I am hopefully gonna have different sizes. So these ones are more for like the smaller, like anything under like a four or five. And then I wanna make bigger ones that are more for like 
six to like eight kind of moment. So hopefully we can get those out soon. I'm really excited about all the things we're trying to add to the shop. We just also added like buttons and zippers and um, also just made a couple like little tea sample bags. I don't know. I've just, ha I've been having a lot of fun, like kind of experimenting with different stuff that I can add to the shop. So uh, definitely keep an eye out on that. If this is too big. Okay. So I did kind of want to go for a, I guess, really, really oversized, slouchy, oversized fit because I was thinking of like maybe giving this to my boyfriend or like, you know, have him have like a cute little sweater, but then also for me to be able to wear this and it be super oversized and cute on me, you know, kind of thing. Um, so, but then if it's like way too big for any of them, then I'll just give it to my dad, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So this is live reaction fit <laughs> for you right now. So, okay. So, so as you can see, the plan is it kind of looks like here. I'll be adding a double knitted band and then one with uh, buttons and then it'll come kind of at the top, have like that really big collar similar to the chorizo cardigan and I'm hoping it'll look good. It's quite big. I am scared it might block very intensely. It's a very big, um, what should we call it? Quite a big... Uh, positive ease. Um, I can also, uh, I might just also just say that this is like the extra large. Um, and cause I normally, when I test, when I make samples of my pieces, I make the medium version. Um, so this I feel like might just be the extra large, but like she's kind of a moment. Uh, I'll have to give you more updates once this guy's done, but I think it'll be really cute. No, the body I think is probably good enough. I just need like a, a little ribbing at the bottom and we'd be fine. I want really big arms as well. So I don't know how are we feeling. I think this is a classic though. Cause it's like a dark, it's like a very nice chunky, dark gray. I feel like the stitches are quite defined and nice too. Um, I was using, I think seven, yeah, seven millimeters. So it works up so fast. Like honestly too fast, but that's the way we like it. I think I want to make more like if I do more do more like boyfriend or like significant other things Like I want them to be on really big needles because no one wants to you know drag away at knitting something You want it to be done really fast and look really good. So Please and thank you Please knitting gods Let this work out. Let this please <laughs> work out uh, And I even oh my gosh look I even added I even added one of my labels. I think the big ones are so freaking cool. I wanted to add it actually uh, either at the bottom corner or I wanted to add it on one of the sleeves or the back. I was thinking of adding it to the back of this, but I was uh, too scared. I didn't want people to see it. I don't know. I was afraid it might not look good. I will just briefly talk about, cause you guys know I've been knitting this like crazy on the stream. This is just an update of my Stockholm V-neck sweater. Um, I finished both arms, so I'm very happy about that. I just have to do the body. I have like three more centimeters until I can do the ribbing. And look, oh my gosh, who am I with these primary colors? I think I'm stunning. And then like, imagine me with this red. I'm gonna be looking like a goddess real soon, real soon. But yeah, just wanted to show this guy off because she's amazing as always. Uh, and everyone asks me what the color is, what yarn I'm using. Uh, this is Philokolana in like the apple green color, and Tilia, the mohair, and then knitting for olive uh, of the merino in clover. Clover green, clover leaf, clover something. Um, but they just work perfectly together. Usually I have such a hard time mixing and matching different brands and the colors. Um, so having this match like honestly perfectly was so, so relieving um, because I really did make, uh, both purchases I made like blindly I had never seen the color in person and so I just went with my gut and the gut was correct okay but talking about color matching I if you guys remembered me talking about the red sweater I wanted to make uh, for 
the fall knitting plans. I had these three colors and I had made a drops purchase because they were having a sale and I know I'm breaking these yarn bands but like they're four projects that I want to make for my business so I can kind of justify it so uh they were having like a fable sale and I've always wanted to try fable so I was like okay Tiffany like we can do this I can let this one slide so I bought fable in the color 106 which is like one of their brightest reds um so this is how the red looks like and on camera I think is a little deceiving like here it looks super red it looks probably just as red as what my other red is and like even looking here the camera is so forgiving you cannot tell the difference but in person I think this is just a little bit too pinky red and this is too orangey red maybe a little bit brighter this is a little bit duller so when I knitted up a swatch the swatch was like a little marled so if I can tell that it's marled already like that's like a straight away no so I'm a little devastated because I, I do have quite a lot of that red left so the plan is is I want to the plan is is I'm gonna put some into the Valentine's Day sock set so you can use it as like an accent color uh, and hopefully that looks Gucci because if it doesn't I'll cry but at least I know that the yarn is going to I guess a good purpose and won't go to waste. So I ended up buying another yarn and Tiffany, I really should stop like just blindly buying stuff. Like I will look on Ravelry and check the color and the yarn and I'm like, oh yeah, this yarn is perfect. It would go perfectly well. And then when I get it in my hands, it doesn't look anything similar. So I ended up buying some kid silk mohair from jobs because I wanted to try I was like okay maybe a mohair would be more forgiving because you can kind of get away with it being slightly off um so I did get some kids silk in their red again it is so forgiving this camera is so forgiving very forgiving uh, but I would say that this is a little darker more like Christmassy red this is more like I just came out of like a color palette red. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, I made a little swatch. It's so small. I even took out the needles for it, but this is the swatch and it looks pretty fine. So I think I'm, I'm gonna have to keep it. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna get rid of any more hair. Uh, and hopefully I can get that red. Hopefully I can get that red sweater knitted because um, I do really want to stick really close to my fall knitting plans um, just because I want to stick to what I'm going to say, what I'm going to do, you know? Okay, so from there, if you guys remember, I wanted to make a striped sweater. I was like, okay, I'm going to get the new Drops Daisy to try it out and see how it looks and give you guys kind of like a full review as to how I feel about the Drops Daisy. And so it finally did arrive. These are what I got. I got, I think, the marzipan color and the black color. This is just how it looks like. It is initially when you feel it right off of the skein it is very soft very beautiful the color is very nice the marzipan is a little dark for my taste i think it just doesn't look as dark on the website so that could be a little bit deceiving um i wanted to make again my striped sweater that's the totem-esque sweater i knitted it up i hated it had to unravel so a little bit devastating i know but I don't have any photos to show you either because I I just didn't take any, but uh, I did do it in the stream so you can see how it was knitting up. I did use one strand of mohair and one strand of alpaca fulgatrad that I was trying out, and I don't know, I think the mohair, I think the black, choosing a black mohair to mix stripes was the wrong decision because it just came off like the black mohair was kind of mixing in with the beige so it kind of looked dirty um and that's on me I think I just need to get another go at knitting these guys up to see whether it works nicely I think uh a lot of people have asked me whether I feel like it's a dupe for the double Sunday. I think for the price it's pretty good 
Um, obviously it's not going to be the same as Double Sunday. I have, you know, like my pros and cons, uh, with Double Sunday. So we'll see whether like this pills and whether I make something in this pills, I think that will really kind of, um, I think that will really kind of dictate how I feel about these yarns. Um, I like right off the bat from knitting it, it's very soft, very beautiful. Um, I would say it holds a little bit thinner, so I can't really get away with just knitting this on five. Uh, you can get away like with four for sure, but like five is really stretching it. Like you would really see the holes in the sweater if I did do that. So it just doesn't feel quite as dense. It feels quite light and airy which is like nice if that's like the vibe you're going for but um you know if I am getting something that's like this DK weight I do want to make sure that it is going to you know hold up well um but I did get these on sale I think they're like six dollars originally I got them on sale for like four so again relatively cheap compared to the eleven dollar um skein for the double Sunday, and then like knitting for all of Heavy Merino I think is also a little bit more expensive, but you have more yardage for that. Um, but they have pretty nice yarn color. They have a pretty nice color selection. So I think we'll see. We'll see. I need to, I need to make a full piece to really give you my final thoughts on it. But right off the bat, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty all right if you can get these for $4. But I do want to see how it compares with my Lima. So I do really, really like Drops Lima, which has uh, alpaca and wool compared to this, I think it's an extra fine merino wool. Yeah, so this is some Lee. This is some Lima, I think. We'll have to see. I'm going to have to see. This is a little bit more... I would say scratchy, but like not even. And if you can get these guys on sale, they're like three bucks. So it's pretty good. Even just the Lima I find is quite similar to. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do like a rating system and really determine how I feel about them. Okay, sorry, we got a little bit we got a little bit tangled up in the hauls, but I will go next on to my other whips. So this is, um, oh, you can't even see it. A piece that I'm working on for Inga for her new baby that's coming along. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for her. Um, this is the Selma Sleep Suit by Petite Knit. Of course, I'm knitting it in Drops Air in the color two. Uh, it is, I think, also the wheat color. But yeah, just looks like this. I've always wanted to try Drops Air, and I, she doesn't disappoint. She's absolutely lovely. I feel like this is exactly what I thought, uh, it, like, the Selma suit was supposed to be in. It, like, I feel like this was meant for the Selma sleep suit. Uh, so I'm really excited. Look at how nice, oh, look at how cute, like, a garter stitch was made for a baby. I'm not... I'm literally not kidding with you. It is so stunning. I will be making one for my baby as well. And usually I don't like making like multiples of like the same pattern just cause like I'm gonna get bored <laughs> really easily. But oh my gosh, you can see it coming together. Look at the arms, the arms are coming. Um, but yeah, I ended up knitting the zero to three months um, just cause I think seeing like a baby in like a little suit who's like a year old would look funny in one of these sleep suits um and i'm knitting this like i checked my gauge and my gauge is just perfect for after blocking so i think if i block this it'll be more like a three to six month so she can get tons of wear out of this and i'm really excited to see how it goes it makes me want to make like a balaclava so bad i don't know this hood it's just giving. It's like giving everything. And I am really impressed by the increases. Like they're just so seamless. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like starting this baby knit makes me want to make baby knits. And I've been talking about it for like a little bit now, but I do, I am a little bit serious about it. Um, because I just am really paranoid about not having enough baby knits for, you know, five, <laughs> five years down the road. Uh, and I, I need to do it. And people have been like, dude, I have children, I have people who I know who have children, I would love to test it for a baby. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what? That's so freaking cool. I should do it. Cause I would love to have like a little 
Mother Bliss collection, you know, just having like little collections in the store. It's just so cool. And I, I know how quick baby knits are. I could just literally knit the smallest size. Like I'll just knit the zero to three months and then everyone else can do all the bigger ones. But at least I can get more pieces out. Like I was literally thinking about knitting a sweater for a baby. Like this sweater, the typical sweater, but have it like, I guess called the typical baby sweater. Or the Mother Bliss baby sweater? I don't know. There's just, I'm so bad with names. It's like an actual issue for me. But if you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know in the comments because I need help with that a lot. I guess final whip, or no, final, I guess finished, eh, she's a finished piece technically, but I just haven't weaved in the ends. This is just a hat. Um, I wanted to make a kind of chunkier, stock and net hat so I don't know I just thought to do this kind of interesting kind of decrease kind of moment and see how it worked um but this is going to be the patreon pattern for the month just ignore all these things um but I just I really love a good chunky 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 hat um I just think a three oh sorry I never like how hats look like on me yeah so I just feel like a three rolled brim is really nice this guy knitted up literally if I was a little bit quicker I probably could have done this in a day so it's a really fast knit I only had to use about I think it was three skeins of drops Alaska yeah so for the sale I really wanted to pick up a lot of drops that I hadn't tried before. So uh, this is just Drops Alaska in the color four. Uh, and it is, yeah, I still have like one and a bit left and I bought four. So it was really just, it was like two and a little bit for the size. And this is the largest size I'm probably gonna make cause my head's really big and this fits my dad. So I think it's, <laughs> it'll fit fine for him. Like, I don't know if you can see, the top section is just like one long flap, but I freaking love it so much. And um, I don't know, I just really like the wide brim. We love it because it's stockinette. Sorry, I'm just like making sure it looks nice. I don't know, I can't tell. Guys, please tell me it looks nice. Does it look nice? I can't see. When I do this, I can't see. But I think, I think I look cool, guys. Please tell me I look cool. Um, but honestly, making like a brim like this with headband would also look so cute. Yes? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so hopefully I can get this up for the Patreons. And I'm also hoping to be able to make like, I want to have different sizes for hats. Usually I've only done one size, but I want to do like at least a small, medium, large, maybe teen, toddler, baby. We'll see how ambitious I get. Um, but yeah, no. I think it's really cute and really easy and I need more hats. We need more hats in the collection, guys. <sighs> Cause like this and like a big jacket, I just think would look perfect. Like when you're going out, I don't know, in the cold. I don't know, this is like the perfect gray. Anyway, it's nice. I don't know. I just feel like I want something chunkier and this was like giving chunky. Yes, beautiful. Five, five and a half, five, five point five millimeters on this guy. I really like Drops Alaska. Drops Alaska is really cheap and I might buy more. Definitely, I'll buy more in the future. So there you go. Sorry. So long and witted. I don't even know. It's so, it's so nice though. Okay, we'll continue on with the hauls. So this is just, I guess, all I got from the first drop sale. Uh, we just got a couple mohairs, a lot of this red, which I cannot use. And then I wanted to try out the drops. I think this is moon or chalk or something. It's in the color 44. I was just curious about the color, but it looks very nice. I will say a beautiful light gray. Like if you have like a really light gray sweater, um, kind of moment, but I think I only bought enough to do a little bit. Um, and then I did end up buying two of these. I bought uh, Drops Fable in the color 100 and 108, just cause, I don't know, I'm feeling like I wanna make a color work sock. So I just thought it would be really nice to try it out. Or maybe I just make 
one sock of each color and maybe make patterns for that because I want to make sock patterns too but when do I have the time I don't know so this guy is just gonna be in a bag kind of far away so I don't look at it for very long um and yeah this was my other drops <laughs> which was just the Drops Daisy from Will Warehouse. I did end up picking another mohair because I had run out because I'm planning on making a little pouch. Please let me know your thoughts. I made this kind of bottom and I was gonna do a moss stitch kind of bag, but I wanted it to be a U-shaped. So instead of it being like a box, I wanted it to curve. I don't know, I just wanted it to be curved. So I don't know, I needed more mohair, so that's why I bought that mohair. So we're not technically breaking any bands here. Okay, thank you, thank you. But we did break the band almost right after, almost right after the drops sale. Next up for the hauls, um, this lady that is from BC, uh, she sells a ton of fibers here and I buy like all the fibers I ever see from her and she's going on like a little uh, hiatus because of her health and so she was having a, I think it was like 30 or 25% off sale. I think I honestly like wrapped up probably the majority of the other stuff that she had in stock. So I'll just quickly show you guys what happened and I just like, honestly, I think I blacked out and just like bought things so that was not good but first off oh my god this would be a wonderful sweater okay so this i don't have enough for a sweater though so it's fine um it is so each braid is about a hundred uh grams so hopefully if i spin this up to like a lace i can hold it uh with something else and it would be really pretty. So the breed is Jacob Prep Combed Top. Uh, it's from the UK and it's just so beautiful. I love, oh my God. I know people hate the smell of this, but I love the smell. I love the smell of this. I love it so much. Oh my God. It is so good. Oh my gosh. It's just like, it's like you can tell it's like a really, really dark brown. But on the website, it like says it's like a black, but like this is probably the blackest you can get without having to dye it because it's undyed. But oh my God, it's a stunning thing. And it was like 25% off. These are like 10 bucks. Like I just need to spin these um, and just kind of, I, I think I just need like, like a couple hours. Like I need a movie or something just to kind of put on and spin this up um, because I think it would be absolutely beautiful um, to have. And so yes um and then again we blacked out again uh continued buying this is andean mountain wool top it's from peru but it's processed in the uk and so again just the most stunning like dark gray -y brown color i bought three because i wanted like i don't know why but like my thought process is that if I spin this, I can spin it up to like a sweater quantity and I can add this in to other yarns that I have that are fingering weight in order to bulk it up to like a DK or like a worsted and it'll just give that little bit of like rusticness that I need in some of my sweaters and I again I love the smell of it. I don't know like it kind of gives me whenever I wear my Louvre sweater or like my Marseille my sweater. I have that same, it kind of has the same smell, um, and so I just need more of it, uh, versus like this, doesn't smell like nothing. This this guy has been processed uh, to the gods and doesn't have any like natural sort of feeling to it. <laughs> I mean, of course it is natural and it's so soft and everything like that, but I, I hope you know what I mean. But yeah, so I just, I just understand we needed, we needed a lot of these because I just thought to myself, like, it's a sale, plus she's going on hiatus. I don't know when she's gonna, you know, sell these up again, and, you know, yeah. And I, I do wanna get a little bit more into spinning because I did buy that spinning machine, so it is an excuse to spin more, and then hopefully in the future I can buy some roving that I can, uh, that I can dye and sell in the shop, so. Lovely, okay, finally, yes, finally, I got some Suffolk. It is in this really nice kind of like, again, it's gray, but it has some hints of brown versus this is another one I've gotten and it's more gray. This definitely has a lot more brown to it, but I just bought, <laughs> I bought 
three of them. I know. I don't know. I was, again, just thinking, like, a sweater quantity would be beautiful. I do have my Issa Yurt Tweenie that I got from Fia Fia, and I just feel like the color match would be so good, and I could maybe hold it with like a Folger Trad or like a tin pure gint and just have like the most beautiful rustic sweater that just it's okay just understand again this was eight dollars so 25% off from that I just thought it was like a crazy good deal um and so now I have just like this huge uh collection of just like these braids but I it makes me so happy to look at them so I think as long as it makes me happy, that's all that matters. So yeah, it's just, it's, it, it has gotten a little bit out of hand. I will say that. Just, just, just a little. Okay, from there, everyone was just having like a weird sale, okay? Just like a really big weird sale in the middle of October. I don't know what people were thinking because I was just like, my eyes like lit up like crazy. Um, but even, okay, even... Even Knitting for Olive had a sale, okay? They had 10% off, but I held back, okay? So I think the fact that I held back on that means it's okay that I bought these. So uh, Fia Fia was having a little sale going on, and I noticed, really just subtly, I just looked upon it, and I noticed that she had some Issyur on sale. She had some Tfini on sale, and I was like, you are not allowed to have Tfini on sale and uh, not expect me to buy it, so... Oh, <laughs> and like as I was shopping I would see like the numbers dwindle as I was putting them into my cart so just that added suspense of like will I get this or will I not really added to my buying process so we just got two again I could probably hold this with anything and you know be pretty happy I do really like again it's quite rustic I love a good rustic yarn I don't know, the feeling of it makes me feel just really good. Just really itchy, <laughs> really good. Um, but I do wanna be making more uh, black stuff. So hopefully again in the future, I need to make, again, black cardigan, black turtleneck, and a really big needle, maybe a six, would be absolutely stunning. So uh, hopefully that can happen soon. If not, that's fine too, I guess. Uh, we got just one of the white, so it's in the color zero. Just a nice lace, give it that rustic feeling. I feel like I want to put like tin pure gint in like everything just to give it that rustic feeling. And then, oh, Tiffany, 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 Tiffany. Oh my God, someone take my money. Someone hide my money away. I bought a sweater quantity of the gray, the dark gray. It's in 4S. Oh my god. Just know I needed it, okay? Just know. Just know I needed it. And I'll use it for something, I promise. I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, I just need more of these. I need a lot of these. It's okay. Everything is okay. I need to stop buying things, but that's fine. Um, but again, it was on sale. So we can justify, I'll make a pattern out of this. We can recoup, we can recoup the money that I spent on this. Oh, oh my God, that should be my justification then. So I can buy yarn so I can make patterns so the patterns can make enough money to pay for all the yarn that I paid plus more. Smart, Tiffany, smart. Okay, okay, so I just wanna quickly talk about all this yarn that I got from Manos del Uruguay. Um, they kindly gifted me some yarn and I'm not obligated to talk about it. They just wanted me to try it out and see how I like their yarns. I've always wanted to try a couple of their things. Um, so they let me pick out some colors and some bases to try out and I, as we all know, I'm very excited all the time about New York. So I think I got all the Sammies. I just really liked all the colors. Um, this is in Dragon by Mary Bell. Oh my gosh, it, it's a very a specific person. Um, but yeah, so they're a, like I had no idea about Manos del Uruguay, but they're a nonprofit organization that helps to 
um, you have opportunities to rule women in Uruguay. And so that's freaking cool. I would I love supporting that. Um, so right off the bat, we love this red. You guys know I'm so into like these bright colors. Uh, it's in the color, I think, tomato. I'm confused. Um, yeah, so this is in, I think the color tomato, uh, it is the base Sammy. It's a hundred percent wool. Uh, it has about 250 meters. So it's about a DK weight yarn. I'm thinking maybe a hat guys, you guys want another hat pattern, um, or just something, just something really simple. I need a good red. Cause again, Brittany Bathgate has been wearing a lot of red recently. So we, we got to keep on that. Okay. And then next colors I got. Got this beautiful, just like these navy, stunning colors. So I'll show it up close up. This is in Galaxy Blue. Super hand dyed. It's a little darker on camera, but I would say that there is a lot of like lighter sections. But I was thinking of maybe making like a navy cabled sweater. I don't know. That's probably a little bit ambitious, but Holding this with a mower hair, I think would be really, really beautiful. So if we have time, I think that would look really nice on my body and it's super squishy and super nice. And I, I really, I cannot wait to come up with a pattern for this. I think that would be really, really beautiful. And then just, I got a basic white because I don't know, actually, I don't know what the vibe was for, but I think either we will do either another cabled sweater or something along those lines. That's like the vibe I was going for with this white. I just think it would be really classy. Um, really classy and really beautiful. Just maybe like a thick, maybe like a thick ribbing. Thick ribbing plus cable or cable. Can't decide. We don't know yet. This is what it is. Thank you so much to the team for sending those to me. I can't wait to knit up some items with them. So just finally, I wanted to do a little review on this book that I just received. It is called Knitovation Stitch Dictionary by Andrea Rangel. So Andrea is actually from Victoria, BC, which I thought was really cool. And she just had this book published on, I think, October 10th. So it is available for you guys to get right now. But I thought I would just kind of give you my thoughts and feelings about this book. I wanted to give a little review on what I think about it. So I have seen a lot of like stitch dictionaries that go over kind of like different stitches like ribbing and like cables and lace and all that stuff but I haven't seen a lot of books that do kind of really nice color work. It includes more than 150 different motifs of color work that you can try and just get just so much inspiration from. I know I will be taking a lot of inspiration from this book for all the color work patterns that I do in the future. Yeah and it just has a lot of quirky things I think very similar to like stone knits uh, where she do where she does like a lot of animals. Yeah so just a lot of things that you can experiment with. I think it's really good for somebody who wants to try and make their own patterns or do something a little bit different to like just your basic stockinette piece. And I love that it gives you uh, the grid as well and tells you how many repeats you need. So it's super simple, but it's super concise and really easy to just uh, reference whenever you need. And again, I love that it shows off the actual knit pieces of how it looks as well as the grid. <laughs> again, you have like little, there's little bats, um, an eight ball as well as penguins and pandas. So just so many different things. And then there's also a bunch of patterns in the back of um, stuff that you can try with the, the different motifs uh, as well. So just congrats to Andrea. Oh my goodness. I'm, it's really cool to hear uh, people from BC um, just publish knitting related books and I just love to support. I just think it's a really nice uh, basic to have just in your, I guess, knitting toolbox if you're um, a designer like me. So I am actually holding a giveaway for this book. Um, thank you so much to Heather at Penguin Random House for letting me do this. I will be hosting this giveaway here on YouTube. If you guys want to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my Instagram and just comment on this video what uh, color work you would be most excited to work on uh, from 
this pattern book. Uh, whether that be socks, sweaters, kind of yokes, or if you're thinking about doing scarves or uh, hats of any sort with color work, just comment down in the comment box and you'll be entered to win. I won't be counting um, double names or anything like that. So thank you so much. I'm really excited to be able to do this and I think it's just really fun. So yeah, that is the end of the yarn corner. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or push the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post next. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.